Hello Excel champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you how to use the dollar symbol in Excel in formulas. For example, here I have dollar $D, dollar $2. What does it mean? How to use it? I'm going to show you everything. Um, and I will give you the final file with all the formula examples. Um, you can download it right below so you can uh, follow with me and with the example at the same time. So, what does the dollar symbol mean in Excel? It means that it's an absolute reference. Uh, for example, here, here I have $d$2. It means that when I duplicate this formula across my Excel sheet, the formula is not gonna, going to change. So for example, here um, it points to 1. If I duplicate it somewhere else, for example, the formula is always going to be $d$2. We have two dollar symbols, one before um, the name of the column, it means that we fixed the column, and another one for the name of the row, it means that we fixed the row. We can fix only the only the row, only the column, both or none. It, I will show you some examples after. Um, if I don't put these symbols, what happens when I duplicate my formula? If I put the same one but without the uh, without the dollars, what happens when I duplicate the formula? Here it, when I uh, duplicate, duplicate it one column to the right, it duplicates the reference one row to the uh, right as well. So here the, the column in my formula was T, and when I go one column right, the formula was E, which is cool because it allows me to um, duplicate a whole range of values, but it really depends um, on the type of application I want. So to give you an example of that, uh, we're going to do uh, um, like an addition table. We want to add at each time the number in the column and the number in the row. And what we want to do, we want to have a single formula that we're going to uh, duplicate in the whole tab. I'm going to show you how to do this. So here, I want to each time take the number which is uh, in this column. So it's always going to be in the column um, in the column B when I uh, in the whole uh, in the whole table. So I'm going to fix B. So one trick, if you want to switch between absolute and uh, rel relative reference, you can do the shortcut is F4. So if you type F4 on your on your keyboard. It's going to switch between the different options. Uh, so this is fully rel relative. Here you fix, it's fully fixed. You fix both column and, and, uh, and row. Here you fix only the row, you fix only the column. It's going to alternate each time. So here I want to fix, I want always, I want to fix the column B. But when I scroll down, I want to, um, to change rows. So for example, here, um, when I, scroll to C9, it's going to, I want it to be B9. So I fix only B and I let the, the number of the row be, um, be relative. Now I'm going to add, so quick example, how it works here. It's always going to return, um, these values that are here, uh, everywhere in the tab, in the table. Now, I want to add the number in the headers. So here it's going to be the opposite. I want to uh, always take the row number two. So I'm going to fix the row number two, but I want the formula to change when I change columns and each time take the value in the new column. So here I'm going to take the row as a fixed reference and the column as a relative reference. So. You see, you have both examples here. Uh, and now I can take this, this formula here. It's going to each time take the good value in the headers. But what's cool is I can take this the same formula that I wrote once and put it in the whole table. And it's going to work each time. I'm just checking a few cells, check that it actually works. Uh, and it does. So that's the power of um, the dollar symbol, fixed and relative references is that you can write a formula once and reuse it um, an in infinite amount of times. 
and it's going to find the right value each time um, like this so really easy to uh, actually write values in uh, tables so you can download the file right below with the examples don't forget to download it uh, and i will see you tomorrow for a new excel tutorial don't forget to subscribe this way you will be notified as soon as i publish it see you tomorrow champions ciao